Turnbuckle Tabloid. Three, two, one. The views expressed on this Turnbuckle Tabloid live stream or Turnbuckle Tabloid podcast episode do not reflect the views, thoughts, or opinions of the RageWorks brand, including the RageWorks podcast network, RageWorks content partners, advertisers, and affiliates. Viewer and listener discretion is advised. Good evening, everyone. It's Jay Santi here to bring to you a special edition of Point and Counterpoint. From time to time, he, he, we here at Turnbuckle Tabloid like to share and exchange different views on a certain subject matter. On this special episode, we like to have a conversation with an individual in which he and I have not been seen eye to eye for the past couple of weeks. I'm glad to have Mersh from Nightwave here on the show. Thanks for stopping by, Mersh. <laughs> All right, I don't understand why that was funny, but uh, all right. Um, in any case, Merch is here because it seems as though he and I basically didn't see eye to eye on the situation which occurred where Teddy Hart was a guest on my show and he didn't really seem to appreciate how I handled said conversation. Is that correct? A hundred percent, yes. Before I continue, I would like to explain to Mersh that our show, in comparison to his show, Nightwave, is more satirical. We're more of a comedy, ridiculous, uh, loosely based on, let's say, a Howard Stern or a Opie and Anthony kind of wrestling program, where his is more of a straight line, uh, political, current events kind of vlog. YouTube episodic stream. Is that correct? A hundred percent, yes. Mersh, if you were to describe Nightwave, the the program, what what kind of style do you and any participants take when, when you're discussing the topics of the day? We go hard in the motherfucking paint, nigga. Oh, uh well, I didn't I didn't know that we were going that route. Oh, okay. Uh, Should have prepped me about that one. Uh, so I didn't understand why you took such umbrage with my or Turnbuckle Tablet's conversation with Teddy as opposed to how you ran yours, which was very uh, combative and you guys were basically at each other's throats. Just just for just for reference, why why was the conversations between you and Teddy Hart so heated. I did a lot of cocaine, Teddy. Mersh, let's be honest here. As men, is it true that there was possibly, possibly some sexual tension between you and Teddy Hart during that conversation? Not not on Teddy's end, because I'm not, you know, I, I, I can see that he's a man who enjoys the company of women. But on your part, did you feel any sexual connection with Teddy Hart? You know, that happens. Really? Are you, are you serious? Keeping it 100. I knew it. I knew it. Once I, 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 I heard the conversation between the two, I said, there's something There's something going on here that's more than just the topic at hand. If there was a way to get a Teddy Hart in the bedroom with you, what would be your opening line to Teddy to try to lure him in to, to your den of seduction? Dick him on mouth, mother... Whoa, whoa, wait, wait. That's... That's a little bit too strong. We, we we might have to scale it back a little. Let's let's try it slow. What would be let's say a, a more smoother line that you could you could say to Teddy to bring you into the bedroom? You look <laughs> like you sell Lucy's in the Bronx. Okay, I I, I, I that that one's a little bit better. That's a, I, I don't know where where the, the similarities with what with what Teddy looks like and somebody from the Bronx, but okay. But 
And let's say for me, and let's let's try this out on me. If you if you wanted to hit, you know, you wanted to hit on me, you want to discuss my appearance or or what turns you on. Well, what is it that you like that 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 I should be doing to turn you on? The oranges and you know what I mean, the yellows, the the, the powder blues. You really gotta accentuate your blackness. So you want me to wear pimp colors? Okay. Um, uh, okay, maybe. Uh, I'm into the orange. Orange is kind of cool, uh, but but we'll we'll we'll, we'll work on that. <laughs> is it just men that you may be attracted to, or is there any? Is it also women, or what? what what's other? What's a, what, what's a, a, another kind of fetish? We're getting into a, like a deep conversation here, which is cool. Um, <laughs> what uh? What what other? What other uh, 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 sexual orientations are you into? If I'm like sucking a girl's dick or I'm sucking a dude's dick or like the champion's dick, like I'm really confused. Okay, we just went from just what are you into to basically what kind of sex you're into. Okay, if that's the uh, the broad stroke we're going with here, uh, bad choice of words when it comes with, with stroke. <laughs> so, um, yeah, since you pretty much are discussing your sexual lifestyle and orientation when when you're having anal intercourse with i guess you just mentioned trannies or whatever uh what's one what's one message you let them know that's gonna happen during or after after sex leave you stinking nigga what the fuck you thinking nigga whoa that that's amazing at least you're up front with it is there anything else you're into like what if we're talking about Anally, is there is there anything that you look for? What's like the first thing that you're looking for when you're dealing with, I guess, trannies and stuff like that? Dick them on mouth, mother. Whoa, 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 we have to calm down because this is a children's show. Well, not really, but still, I, I didn't want to hear all that shit anyway. So, is there any other fantasies that you have uh, with any other wrestlers, male, female, transgendered, whatever it is? Is there other? Do you have any other fantasies? A hundred percent, yes. Who? Like, what is one fantasy that you have like, sexually when you're looking at a wrestler? Like, what wrestler in particular you're, you're, you're interested in? At least when I'm sucking Tessa Blanchard's dick. <laughs> I know that's a girl's dick, you know? <laughs> I just fucking... All right, that doesn't really make any sense. It, you, 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 at least you're sucking a girl's dick. I'm, I'm confused. Mersh, you really have some sexual hangups that we need to get you therapy for. That's just... That's just weird. <laughs> But since we're talking about it, you're, you're talking about when you're sucking Tessa Blanchard's dick, or whatever the case may be. Um, when, when, let's say she does, I, I don't want to be slanderous. Cause, uh, Tessa, I know you don't have a dick, but apparently he must think you have a dildo or some shit or whatever. When, when Tessa pulls out her quote unquote dick, w what's on your mind? What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you see it? My good Jesus God alrighty. You must like him really big. A hundred percent, yes. And once she pulls out said possible dildo, or, or even not Tessa, if it'd be anybody that is working with a penis or or, or some kind of apparatus, what's the first thing that, that you're going to let them know once it starts going down? We go hard in the motherfucking paint, nigga. Yikes. Oh, uh, wow. You, you, I, I, I admire you for your, your, your brash and, and upfront mentality and 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 feelings about this, this this discussion this is good this is actually really good uh if if you were able to change yourself what 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 would you do first what would, what is something that you would do i want a kitty so by kitty you mean you want a vagina is that what you're saying i want a kitty i want a kitty you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Mersh of Nightwave, if he had his choice, looks as though he wants to be transgender as well, and he wants a kitty. Okay. Um. Before we go, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to keep you on for too long. Mersh, I have to ask. Do you find me attractive? A hundred percent, yes. Uh. Seriously, you really, you really do. Thanks. It, are you serious? No, you can't. You're, you're 
keeping it 100. Oh, you are? Oh, well, thanks, Merch. Um, wow. Uh, is there is is there any any last things you want to say to me before uh, we go? Is it, you know, since you find me so attractive, is there, is there any parting words? You're going to be bigger than Sam Roberts. Oh, that's amazing. Thanks for saying that. Wait a minute. Are you... You talking about the show, Turnbuckle Tabloid, or are you talking about my dick? Like, what are you talking about? You're talking about my dick, right? A hundred percent, yes. Oh, my God. Uh, Merch, I, I'm flattered, but I'm really not into guys, especially guys with neck beards. Though you, you guys are fucking weird, honestly. <laughs> but, you know, thanks for the compliment anyway. I mean, that, that, that's... Hey, at least somebody finds me attractive. But... If we all talking about this, just quickly, what um, what would it sound like if you were like really trying to suck my dick? Honestly, <laughs> really, wow, it's like that. Dick in my mouth, mother. Okay, all right. This is where we stop the conversation. Mersh, thank you for being a part of Turnbuckle Tabloids Point and Count and Fuck Your Point. Wow, I, I, you got me flustered here. <laughs> uh, once again, I hope you enjoyed yourself. A hundred percent, yes. Oh, great. Thanks for being a part of it. And thanks for you guys for listening to Turbuckle Tabloids Point and Fuck Your Point. And we'll talk to you guys soon. And thanks for being part of the show. Uh, Keeping it 100. All right. Thanks again. Bye-bye. This segment was brought to you by Turnbuckle Tabloid. Turnbuckle Tabloid.